All right, all right, guess what? I was wrong about Taylor Heineke, and I will fully admit it in this video, which starts right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes. Thank you for joining us. If you're new here, thank you for stumbling across this channel. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, thank you for all of your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope I earn your subscription on this video today. With that said, let's get into today's video, shall we? So, I have a video out that said, is this the end of the road for Taylor Heineke? Because as we witnessed in the game against, uh, I believe it was the Minnesota Vikings. He threw a costly pick at the end of that game. And it was it was one of the worst picks, I think, that you could, you could throw. And it wasn't the first time that we saw this. He, th he threw another costly interception in the game before that. And we really started to, to question ourselves, right? You know, Taylor Heineke, he wins, he wins ugly. He doesn't put up the best numbers, but he was winning. And then suddenly, he was not winning against the Vikings. And it was a game that Washington should have won because otherwise, they really had kind of dominated that game for the most part. And to come up losers and a lot having to do with the fact that, you know, Heineke coughed up the ball you know, throwing a really bad pick deep in the commander's own territory there, it made me start to wonder, have we seen the ceiling of Taylor Heineke? I still think the answer is yes. I don't know if there is any room for improvement as far as, oh, this is just the, the scratching the surface. You know, he can turn into the next superstar. Uh, I, I want to say the next Brett Favre because I know that that is his idol, but uh, given the fact of the negative press that Brett Favre has had, I really don't want to say that. Um, but, you know, I just, um, I, I will say this. Taylor Heineke has the underdog mentality, and people love that, and people are attracted to that and migrate to that, myself included. And I love his mentality. And I think when he does play smart football, and he played very smart football, I felt for the most part, against the Eagles, then good things will happen. You know, Heineke is always going to be the guy that he is always going to make some bad plays in every game because he is a gunslinger. And that can be said for Aaron Rodgers. It was said for Brett Favre. Brett Favre made some bad plays. You know, the fortunate thing for guys like that is that they are so talented and they've been, they were doing it or have been doing it for so long that some of those bad plays turned into great plays. You know, they, they just they practice it so much that, you know, throwing these off-centered, you know, off-the-wrong-foot passes turn into something great. You know, Patrick Mahomes does that all the time. I mean, you know, Patrick Mahomes would probably be a quarterback that you would say, okay, this is not the this is not what you teach quarterbacks to do. But yet, he makes his living off of it. So Taylor Heineke, what can I say? The guy is great in prime time. When he's under the lights, that's when he seems to shine. And it seems like no game is too big for Taylor Heineke. You know, the only thing I can say is uh, one bad pass that I can really think of in that Eagles game was the one where he kind of hung in the air a little bit, but it was to Terry McLaurin down the field. He could have looked off the safety just enough, but he would have had to have controlled his pass a little bit better as well. So, you know, there were two things to that. You know, his pass wasn't quite zippy enough. It wasn't perfect enough. But, you know, if he could have held the safety just long enough, he probably would have had a good completion to Terry McLaurin. At least I don't think it would have been picked off. Other than that, 
you know, he played smart football. At the end of the game there, you know, he did he kneeled down and you know, he got roughed. Started celebrating, hey, you know, we would have done the same thing because he knew at that point that game was over. That game was over. Taylor wins. He's three and one. And the thing is, when you start to look at quarterbacks and you look at guys like, okay, when Kirk Cousins was here, and we all talk about Kirk Cousins and how, you know, he was probably, sat wise, he was probably one of the best quarterbacks we had. You know, and I liked, I really liked Kirk Cousins. I didn't want us to get rid of Kirk Cousins whatsoever. But when it came down to it, did we win a lot of games with Kirk Cousins? You know, we had the one season where we were. NFC East champions, and I think we won that division at nine and seven, right? It wasn't a 10 win season, it was nine and seven, and then the next season, I think we were eight, seven, and one, and then the following season, I can't remember, we might have been seven and nine, I'm not sure, but you know, we were not necessarily winning football games. We were mediocre. We were a 500 team at best. But stats-wise, Kirk Cousins was a fantastic quarterback for us. I'm saying that just to say that, you know, being a quarterback who has the big arm, who's flashy, who, you know, can pile up the points, that's great. But when it comes down to it, you got to win football games. And, you know, Taylor Heineke knows how to win football games. You know, right now he's I think he's got a ten to nine record with Washington. And you know, the only other quarterback who's had a winning record with Washington in the past few years was Alex Smith. I think Alex Smith was was like eleven and five. So Taylor Heineke right now, ten and nine. Uh, so he's over 500 and could possibly continue that win streak. We're playing the Texans this weekend. Who knows? But, you know, we're, we're favorites. I think we're 3.4 favorites or something like that, 3.5 favorites um, opening up against the Texans. So, you know, I, I just, um, yes, I, I feel like <clears> – <throat> A little bit of prematurity on my end as far as feeling like I think this is was the end of the road. But here's the thing. Here's how I knew that a lot of people did not watch that video and just looked at the uh, title of the video and then made comments was the fact that in that video, I did say that now if Taylor Heineke keeps winning, then, or, you know, if Taylor Heineke is somehow able to lead Washington to a win over the Eagles, then I think he should keep the starting quarterback position. He should keep playing. And I still think that he's a better quarterback than Carson Wentz. You know, now I may have referenced maybe we should look at Sam Howe, but, you know, should we go back to... Carson Wentz? No, I don't think we do. I don't think that at all. I think that Carson Wentz is done. That's my opinion. So, Mr. Iceman, Taylor Heineke, having his bush light. Not sure how legal that is, but anyway. Um, hey, I'm, I'm back on the bandwagon. I love Heineke. I hope that he starts the rest of the season. We got seven games left. I think that the team is a different team. I think they rally around Taylor Heineke. I think you keep him in there. Let's play him. Let's pick up another win. Let's get another win streak going. Hell to the Washington Commanders. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.